<laughs> What's so funny? Wait, isn't it obvious? Not really. Oh, well, uh, a bunch of fools, a bunch of Philistines down in the comments suggested that I try to drink a gallon of mustard. <laughs> uh, it's almost like they don't know that not only am I the world's strongest man, I'm also a world champion mustard guzzler. You are? Of course I am. What? Wasn't it obvious? Not Whatever. Really. Shut up. I wasn't talking to you. The point is, not only today am I going to drink a gallon of mustard, I'm going to drink three gallons of mustard because I love mustard and all mustard related products, which is probably just mustard now that I'm thinking about it. Now, I'm sure you're all curious what the rules are for this extreme mustard guzzling challenge. And it's pretty simple. I'm so extremely confident that I'm going to finish all three gallons that I'm giving myself only one hour to do so. In the extreme scenario where I fail this, which is very unlikely to happen, all right, Garrett behind the camera here has worked up some kind of penalty for me to do. Now, I'm sure there's already a few concerned viewers saying, Houston, you cannot possibly do this challenge, all right? You're about to consume a dangerous amount of sodium, but that's the deal. Even 135,000 milligrams of sodium for mustard is nothing to Houston Jones, okay? I am sodium itself, all right? And sodium itself can't do anything to sodium itself. All right, Garrett, you may start the clock. Starting first with the Always Save Yellow Mustard. It's a, you know, bottom shelf mustard, I would say, but, you know, I'm not that picky when it comes to some stirred. Step one, shake it up. Take it back off. Ooh. Delicious. Now here's how it's done. Got a little something on your nose. You got something on your nose. Now here's the thing, when you're uh, consuming mustard, it's always important to have some straws handy, all right? What you do is, you stick it in there because you're gonna need some airflow when you're guzzling it, all right? And then, see, the air goes in there and it just go, slides down your throat. That's actually pretty smart. Yep, I saw it from drinking videos. <laughs> It's thick. It's very thick. How's the aroma? It smells like mustard. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> What's wrong? You need to take a seat. All right, before we go any further, I want to thank The Ridge for sponsoring this video. For those of you that don't know, The Ridge is a minimal front pocket wallet that is designed to streamline what you carry every day. It has 30,000 five star reviews and is without a doubt a better way to carry your cash and cards. The awesome thing is that there's a lifetime warranty if you love it and free returns if you don't. It comes in titanium, carbon fiber, aluminum, and over a dozen different styles and colors. That's not all though because the Ridge also has stylish phone cases, weatherproof duffel bags, backpacks, and power bags. Now if you want to get your own Ridge wallet or other Ridge products, I got some great news for you. You can get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping by going to richwallet.com forward slash Houston, that's richwallet.com forward slash Houston, and use code Houston. The link for that will be down in the description below. Do you taste the turmeric? What? Do you taste the turmeric and the paprika? I just taste mustard, Gary! How's your tongue feel? Well, I burned it with Hot Pockets last weekend, so... It's been feeling numb since that. So it just doesn't feel? Well, to be honest, Garrett, I haven't really felt in years. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Maybe if I plug my nose. Yeah, maybe then, you know. I mean, I think mustard still tastes like mustard no matter what you do. No, it's pretty good. Chug, 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 chug. Oof. All right, so I'm pretty sure I'm done with this bottle. Roughly done with this bottle. Look at that, ain't okay. It's, I mean, it's still coming. Hey, phrasing! 
care. They are just being that's just excessive at this point. You got a headache? I got a headache. Slightly. It's somehow getting harder. I don't know why it's so hard to drink, man. You know, it could be several things. The uh, crazy amount of sodium, you know, the fact that it's mustard. Let's drink. I know what I need to do. What's that you're uh, chowing down on there, Houston? Are those Tums? No, vitamins. Oh, okay. You know, probiotics are good for your stomach. I'm gonna wash it down with a little bit of a uh, pink mustard. Oh, pink mustard. Oh, that must be the new uh, the new color they just came mm. out with. Pink mustard's always better. All right, uh, listen up, everyone. Here's the problem with mustard these days, huh? It's too thick. What you want to do is dump an entire thing of mustard in here. Give it to me. Get out. Come on. Oh, she's a squirter. Man, she just doesn't stop squirting. She doesn't know when to quit. This is the most important ingredient of them all. Water. Now we're looking at something here that's truly going to be delicious. Mmm, mm-mm. Gary, you want a whiff? Yeah, give me a good old whiff of that, baby. Cooked uh, fresh. Ooh, it smells a little like I hit the spot. pickles. Mmm, pickles, huh? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I think we're onto something to here. It's increased its palability by at least 30%. It's good. Do you hear that, Garrett? Hear what? Oh, you don't hear that? Sounds like uh, somebody's yelling something. Yeah, it's like a... Is that? Oh. Here we see a, Houston, a wild Houston in his natural habitat. I feel fine, dude. What the hell did they put in this mustard? What the hell? No. Oh, God. I don't want to do it anymore, Garrett. What you're all about to witness is a world first mustard beer bong. Never before done. We'll start with a modest amount. Oh, damn. dear God. That was way <laughs> more than I was intending to do. And once I do it, no matter what happens, you all owe me a like on this video for my bravery, courage, and dashing good looks. It's time for? I no. actually understand the problem. What's the problem? Been drinking all this bottom shelf mustard. Been saving the best right here. French. It's French's. That, this is this is the best I got. Welcome back to the first episode of Fine Dining with Houston. Today we got something special for you. 
French's Classic Yellow Mustard. It's the best mustard I have currently, and let's just say, it's a tasty treat. Uh, yeah, that's enough. And, uh, maybe just think about drinking it for a while. <laughs> you know? It's really a, a status symbol when you have mustard that's this high quality. Looks like a fine cog cognac. Yeah, it's a... Uh, you know, it's about the conversation, uh, not as much as actually drinking it. Taste vinegar. That's a mustard. And that's been Fine Dining with Houston. Well, I'll be honest, things really aren't going my way this video, but there's truly only one man I know that can finish it for me. And his name is Viking Houston. Oh yes, it is I. Descended once from the peaks of Bahula. All right, because I heard my fellow Houston had problems consuming this delicious yellow goop. Where he struggles, I can succeed. You got a little something on your beard. <laughs> I swallowed some beard hair. Sorry about that. I don't know what's happening to me. I mean, I mean. Oh, that was delicious. You know, Houston, I think it's time to give up. Give up? What do you mean? I've come so far, dude. You look like you're in rough shape. No, dude, this is how I always look. It's okay, no one will judge. I'm not gonna give up, okay? I'm finishing it now. Listen, Houston, it's okay. I hate you for this, Garrett, but I'm not gonna back down now. World first, mustard slip and slide coming up. Oh, my stomach! Man, I smell it now. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> what the? It was a worthy effort. Oh yeah, I can make it. You can. You can't. You're wrong. God. <laughs> Even the grass is slipping. <laughs> <laughs> I think I figured out the problem. What's the problem? I wasn't exercising before. Ah. That's why I couldn't consume enough mustard. The trick is push up. Look. Ooh. Oh. It's even better with sand in it. Mmm. Oh. So good. Ah! Ah! That stuff's terribly slippery. I guess we can just chalk that up to a victory. So, like, comment, subscribe, and a video. God, get out! Go! Oh!